Previously on the Aruba switching story, we've learned how to provision a campus infrastructure using zero-touch provisioning with DHCP options. In this episode, we're going to hear from Matt and Ruben again, who are going to continue their discussion on infrastructure deployment and show us how to provision a switch using the CX mobile app. Matt and Ruben? Thank you, Justin. So here we have the CX mobile app running on an Android device. So you can use either an existing network connection by IP address or a Bluetooth connection to configure the switch. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use the IP address. So I can use the initial config option uh, to bring up the uh, switch uh, authentication page. So enter the uh, switch username and password, which I know because uh, I deployed the configuration file, specified the password there. The first step is to log into the switch. And then the next step is to provide the net edit server credentials to allow the app to uh, log into the net edit server. So we'll have connections to the switch, a connection to the net edit server. And then the last step in the process will be to allow the net edit server to onboard the switch for uh, configuration management. So here we have that. Go ahead and log in to the NetEdit server. And now I'm going to specify the management interface that NetEdit is going to use to manage the configuration of the switch. So in this case, we use the uh, out-of-band management port for initial provisioning. We're going to continue to use that port for ongoing management. So we'll go ahead and set a new admin password for the switch. Uh, rather than using DHCP, we're going to go ahead and use a static IP address and if I wanna see the actual configuration template that is being used and populated using the values I'm entering here, I can simply uh, tap this little eyeball icon here to view the configuration template snippet. And once I'm satisfied with what uh, has been entered here, go ahead and select next. This will validate uh, all of the options that I've selected here, generate a final configuration template that will be pushed to the switch uh, as the app is onboarding it into NetEdit. And we will have an opportunity to review that configuration before we actually push, uh, push it to the switch. Finally, I can validate the resulting configuration before it gets pushed to the switch by the app. So once I'm satisfied that the configuration is what I expect it to be, then I will go ahead and select deploy and verify that the config gets deployed successfully. So this starts by configuring the switch using the template that we just saw. And then it will, once it validates that configuration, NetEdit will import the switch. The app validates that the import was successful. And here we see all three connections are now successful, device deployment successful. So this switch is now in the NetEdit inventory and ready to be managed. Seems pretty straightforward. It really is. So now I'd like to do a brief overview of NetEdit itself. So we'll start with the dashboard. So the NetEdit dashboard is configurable on a per user basis so that every user that is managing devices using a NetEdit instance can see what is most important to them right off the bat. Next is the topology view. So this provides you a visual uh, view of your network infrastructure being managed by this NetEdit server. So this includes uh, providing access to the NetEdit query engine. So you can highlight or filter devices based on specific criteria, or you can use the overlay functionality that provides a logical view of connections across your infrastructure, including user-based and virtual network-based tunneling uh, connections shown here in green and orange. So you get that logical overview of how your network is constructed in addition to the physical links between the individual devices. And then we have the device list. Uh, this is where you can actually initiate configuration and firmware changes, as well as check the status and history of a given device, such as our 6300 stack that we just onboarded using the Aruba CX mobile app. So you can see you get details, on how the device is actually uh, behaving. You can see uh, we are providing flags 
uh, for example, when the startup configuration does not match the running config, uh, if you have conformance policies applied to your infrastructure being managed by NetEdit, you get warnings about what portions of the switch configuration do not match the criteria that are defined in those conformance policies. There's a lot of great information that is provided uh, by NetEdit on the state of your infrastructure. So that's a very brief overview of NetEdit. And with that, let's go ahead and turn it back over to Justin. Thank you, Matt and Ruben, for showing us how to provision switches using the CX mobile app and NetEdit. In our next episode, Matt and Ruben will continue to discuss ways to provision the switch and show us how we can do that using Aruba Central and some of the new capabilities for AOS CX in Central. So be sure and tune in for the next episode. Mm -hmm.